Yo, what's up? Uh, we gonna do one more real quick, and um, I probably just see what it do and what the feedback be, and I chill till like later on the night. Um, uh, but I gotta get on uh this big head motherfucking Tisha hat, cause she really make me fucking sick. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, bro. <laughs> she make me sick, bro. This lady make me sick, bro. Listen. Because why she make me sick? Alright. It ain't nothing wrong with holding your marriage to a high standard, you know what I'm saying? Or sitting up, but don't sit up and look down. Don't do that. And I feel like when Melody was going through what she was going through, that lady was enjoying it, bro. That lady was enjoying it. And you deal with people like this on a regular day, bro. Motherfucker, you'll go through something and somebody will call your phone or they heard you went through something, call your phone just to hear you talk about what you're going through so they can run off and enjoy it with somebody else to talk about the situation or talk about it with their partner. You know what I'm saying? Because you just went through something today because they never used to really seeing you go through nothing. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's just my take on how it started with Melody, bro. You feel me? Because Melody and them, they were strong. They had helped them come up. You know what I'm saying? You, I'm, I'm, I'm going to break this down. So just stay with me. Just please stay with me. Don't click off. Just stay with me. Just stay with me. You might like this shit I got to say. Like I said, I know. Y'all said I need to get my wardrobe together. Bro, I got clothes. I'm at home. <laughs> I'm at home, brother. I don't know. Now that I'm chilling. Anyway. Anyway, I got good shit. Good clothes. Nice clothes. Gucci and blue and proud. Good clothes. I'm just playing. But listen to Um, All right. Melody, right? Melody and Martell. This is before the cheating and all that, right? They help them people up, bro. If you don't know, uh, Scope. It means Scots and Hope. If you didn't miss, if you missed that part when they were talking about it, it means Scott and Hope. Martell, Martell helped them start the company, and they bought the company. They bought Martell out of it. All right, right. And Melody, and Melody, Melody is a key factor. Now, for Tisha, this ain't got nothing to do with the men. For Tisha to be helped up by Melody. And it looked like Melody got this perfect life when before all the cheating and all that right there, right? They had money. They were doing good. You know, they all right. It's people like that in your everyday life too, bro. See you doing good and whoop, 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 and you will be trying to help them up. But when you get to helping them up and they get to being able to stand on their own, now they throwing rocks at you about what you went through. You know what I'm saying? Because they finally got you. Ha, I got you. I knew you weren't that perfect. You know what I'm saying? I knew it when everything went good. I knew it. You know what I mean? And I believe she felt like that about Melody. This all alleged. This whole video is allegedly. Nothing is facts. Only my opinion. But um, I I I just feel like when Melody. To see Melody running around the office, to see her making moves, giving speeches, um, 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 being the main brain of the relationship, because everybody know that Melody is the brain. Everybody know this. Martin can't think quick as Melody. He can't move swift as her. He's just not busy savvy. He not that business savvy, bro. Because if he was, he'll be on top. But we ain't on him right now. He gonna be last. We gonna tell a new asshole to him when I really give you what I got to say about him. These are teasers. I promise. But I think that struck a core of pure hate and jealousy in Tisha towards Melody, bro. You know what I mean? Because not because she can't do what Melody do, y'all wrong, y'all wrong, y'all wrong, she can do it, she can do it, anybody can do it, if you cut like that, if you cut like that, I feel like to see her husband supporting it, 
This before they broke up with the cheating. This when it was all just in-house problems. To see her, to for Tisha to see her, damn, her husband supporting it. He don't make her do this. He don't make her do that. You know what I mean? She still got time with her kids. She's still a PTA mom. She still, still, she still, she still. When a motherfucker got to say you still doing it, like you still down, he still moving. She still on her shit. Damn, did that nigga just, that nigga just cheated on her last week. She still making moves. She ain't in the bed crying. That will make a motherfucker hate you when you bring resilience. When you show resilience and dedication, ain't nothing finna stop me. Ain't nothing finna break me. Ain't nothing finna knock me off from getting my motherfucking bag and doing for my motherfucking kids. Man, that'll make a bitch hate you. That'll make a bitch hate you. Boy, that'll make a bitch hate your guts. You hear me? Because it ain't you a monster. You a monster. And it, it's normal people that got that monster in them, bro. Every day you, you go through shit, the hardest shit. God signed you up for the war. You listen every goddamn year. You like, God damn, I can't stand this shit. But you still go. And you still take off. And you still go hard. And a motherfucker down there kill you by that shit. So imagine watching Tisha watching Melody do this shit. And this motherfucker, the biggest star on the show, she built the show. Her and her storyline built the show. Nothing else. That show wouldn't be shit without their storyline, bro. It wouldn't. I'm just being real. That shit would have been a flop. Because I'm going to tell you why it would have been a flop. And I'm ready to argue with anybody about this, bro. Melody and Martell, the only thing you can say for Martell is that it's like, all right, that was that, that, I. I respect that. He put everything out there for the world. Everything out there for the world for, for us to judge him and criticize him and crucify him, bro. He did that. So, that's the, probably the only good thing I got to say about that nigga. You know what I'm saying? That's probably the only good thing. And he don't let nobody play with Melody. Like, when they was falling out, he probably will not because he just hating that bad. But when they was falling out, listen to my words. Don't just say... Oh, no, no, no. Just, I said when they were falling out. Like when they, him and Marceau was about to fight and all that. He, he kind of always like, nah, you ain't just going to play with me or nah, type shit. You feel me? But anyway. All right. Tisha watching this shit, bro. She probably watched Melody Instagram go from 3,000 to however many followers she got now. You get what I'm saying? And can't take that shit, cause why the fuck is he the star? Why the fuck? You get what I'm saying? Just like man, you gotta peep, bro, when people be hating on you, bro, and people ain't got really ain't got too much good to say about you. Remember when Melody them came in on that gender reveal on that horse and carriage and shit? And all that, and what all of them said, what the Scott said, every like, even Kimmy fucking, even all of them, what they said. Look, well, that's Mel. There it is. Always overdoing it, always extra. You know what I'm saying? They don't like that shit. They don't like that shit. They don't like that overzealous, overconfident ass shit. You know what I'm saying? They don't like that. Cause that just ain't, they ain't got that type of shine in them. You know what I'm saying? So now that Tisha, Tisha trying to throw a pebble to break a glass house. Baby, you need a bigger brick than that to break this shit down, man. You know what I'm saying? That lady watched her mama come through a lot of shit probably. I mean, it's too, it's too, Melody got more class in her background than Tisha do. Look, look at Tisha, look at Tisha mama, man. Country hell from Bessemer, Alabama. From Bessemer, Alabama. Yeah, right across the street from Salma. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I live from Bessemer, Alabama. That's where all her cousins from, Bessemer, Alabama. That daddy like Atmo. Yeah, it's called Atmore, but we call it Atmo. Atmo. All right? So, Tish, Tisha kind of learning this shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? And she want to go, but her husband won't allow her to push. And she know that will crumble. If Tisha try and step up and try something like that, ooh, Marshall going to make it so hard on her. Because, bitch, I told you, get in the house. You know what I'm saying? That's the type of nigga she fucking with. 
Well, so as Martel couldn't dare tell Millie that because he can't move without her. And she ain't going for it. You know what I'm saying? You got more so a, a strong black woman versus a handicapped black woman. Because her husband only going to allow her to grow here. Hell nah, you ain't finna get here, bitch. Sit your ass down. I mean, that's what she choosing. Uh, I ain't gonna get too into it, you know what I'm saying? But, this is my thoughts. Everything lizard. This is my thoughts, though. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think to see Mel prosper and shine by herself, I think that's a threat to many women on the show, bro. She always booked, busy. You know what I'm saying? Even if, even if, even if she down, she show flawless. She show, she show. She, I mean, flawlessness. I think that's a word. Flawless. You know what I mean? To where she could be the just guy to a Martell, and she'll get on stage and give a speech, bitch. A uh, excellent speech, like God damn, that bitch just said, "What the hell?" I'm looking on the TV like, what the fuck that word mean? That's some good shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm inspired like a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Name one time Tisha moves you with a goddamn speech without the goddamn tongue. What that is it? Yes. What that goddamn? I said. I said. <laughs> I'm just fucking around. I'm just fucking around, man. Look. <laughs> my, my son got on this. <laughs> I be like, what's up? <laughs> I be fucking around, I be like, what's up? <laughs> I just fucking around, I just fucking around, I just fucking around. But look, oh, for real. She. Then. She trying to step out there, but ain't nobody fucking with nothing t shirt got going on like that. It ain't doing what male got to do. No t shirts. Male, man, man, male making a killing off of t shirts. Bro, you know how cheap them damn them t-shirts is? She probably selling, she probably buying them bitches a dollar a piece. Buy the unit. You know what I mean? A thousand in a box. Spend a thousand dollars on a box t-shirt. Sell them bitches for $20 to the fan. We're going to make a killing this year. You know what I'm saying? Off the muscle. You know what I mean? T-shirt tried the website shit. Got caught on copy and story. Got that thing. Tried a lot. Talking about I paid somebody. You ain't paid a motherfucking thing. You trying to steal other people's blueprint. That shit ain't gonna work. You know why? Cause they stole Martell and blueprint and it worked. Y'all wanna talk about that? Yeah, yeah. They, they just went commercial. Commercial make more money than residential. But that's what happened. Now yeah, teacher, you loaded, you rich, you got probably more money than me. I got a little baby too though. Right? So I can speak on this. I ain't talking about this shit. Die, baby. I'm blaming you too. God damn it. But, <laughs> but, <laughs> y'all got, I'm just bored, bro. Y'all got to quit. Y'all got to be with me. You know what I'm saying? But they stole, not stole, they was giving. They was giving, and then it turned into a hostile takeover. You know what I'm saying? Because once they went there, feeling like they were up, y'all can tell when teaching them came up when they went and got the little, the little bins. With the wings on it, the McLaren, and then the McLaren or something like that, with the wings on it, the Mercedes, yeah. They went to bubbling. They went to bubbling. Scope was under when, they say Scope was under when it was under Martell and all that. That's because Melody ain't had nothing to do with it. Crazy. Crazy. Melody keeping the, kept the doors open on um, Hope and Hope. So for Amar, so for Tisha, it's kind of, it's more so envy, bro. It's more so jealousy that not that she wanna be male, she can't do what male do. It ain't that she wanna be her. She wanna do what male do. She wanna be allowed to do that, and she wanted to succeed. So ain't nobody talking about, ha ha, it ain't work. Cause that's all Marshall gonna do. That's the type of love she got. 
I told you not to do it. She got an I told you so ass husband. And he waiting to tell her I told you so. So she ain't got no support. Period. Anything outside of what she's supposed to do in that house, she ain't got no support. I ain't helping you do that, Tish. You don't have to learn. You don't have to learn. I told you not to go out there. Like he he, he treated like a kid. She like a little kid. She like a little kid, bro. It's to the point of where she got to damn and tell her kid, I'm not stupid, my child. I'm not stupid, my child. How many times she just say, I'm going to watch every motherfucking video, and as I'm watching them bitches, I'm going to count every time she done told a bitch she's not stupid. I guarantee it's over 100. Because he done, he done handicapped and stunted her growth so long that she damn near feel retarded. Or she feel like she got to show the world she ain't retarded. When bitch, we know. I know for a fact it ain't more so fucking ass doing all the work. You can't tell me that. Can't tell me that, bro. My bad. I don't mean it. Yeah, but yeah, I think that's why she bad at Melody. You know what I mean? And then I'm finna tell y'all this is a fact. This how I know that I'm on to the right track with her about her about that about this shit. Remember when she said she wanted to bring this on the reunion? She said she wanted to bring Kiki on the show, but. I don't think I didn't think Kiki would be wanting to uh, put all of her business out there. Whatever she said it was something to that effect, like a person with all this going on wouldn't want to be on TV and all that right there. Woo -woo -woo. But since you on TV and it's all out there, you gonna get what come with it. She telling y'all purposely, like I'm gonna put all her business out here since you want to be on fucking TV so bad with me and take my shine, uh, attempt to take my shine. Y'all don't think she felt like that about Melody? Y'all don't think she feel like that about Melody? The bitch flawed. Stormy, when Stormy, Stormy, I got something for you too. Stormy, you don't give, this ain't the place. That reunion, you give a bitch grace on them episodes. That reunion, you lay a bitch ass on their back. You don't give, you don't, I'm giving you grace. We don't want no motherfucking grace on this reunion. I'm into this shit. Man, you need to be letting her know what the fuck it is. But we'll get to that later. Y'all tell me what y'all think about Tisha. Y'all think I'm on the right track or I might be off, though. I might be off. I ain't saying I'm just right. I'm not saying I'm just right. But let me know what y'all think. Um, I got to work at two. So she, uh, like I said, I'm on the grind right now. Goddamn, I got like. It probably got like six trips in the next month, bro. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? That I got to take. So, um, I'm grinding right now. I'm putting that paper up. <laughs> so, I could be flexed up, Billie Jean. You know what I'm saying? But y'all let me know. All right.